see here. We're going to take up the E flight Carbon V Cub SS. Have a little evening, afternoon flight with her. You can just see how big this plane is. Well, anyways, we're going to take her up and have some fun, folks. And uh, enjoy her. I'm running a China Hobby 4000. Um, I think it's a 50C discharge 6S in her. And uh, take her up and have some fun. Second flight of the day. Let's turn the motor on. Yeah, motor on. Okay. Uh, hold on, folks. Yeah, there we go. That'll be all right, just like that. Yeah. All right. All right, let's get her turned around here. Big plane like this. All right, motor. Motor on. Always helps to have your motor on when you fly a plane. All right, we got right aileron, left aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. We've already done the range test, so hey, let's go. Oh man, is that not beautiful? Well, that is just a beautiful plane. And she flies so easy. Flies ever so easy. Take off flaps. Landing flaps. Oh, man. Just a, maybe an eighth throttle right now. Straighten her up here at the end. A little bit of back pressure there, and <laughs> well, should have had a little more momentum. Cause I could have done a little bit better of a landing. I just kind of plopped down, didn't I? All right. On that rudder. Once that tail goes up, you can then apply yourself a little bit of elevator. There. Full speed pass. <laughs> there. A little bit of a knife edge here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Get ourselves a nice coordinated turn here. We'll make, we'll make a low pass here. Low pass, slow or slow pass, with the or landing flaps in. Flaps, up. flaps are up. Don't have much of a mix in there. I probably should work on a mix where they doesn't want to balloon so much on me. All right. Well, isn't that pretty? No flaps. A little bit better. Can do better than that, though. All right. You know what, folks? We're gonna stop for just a second. I'm gonna take a look at the flap system. See if I can't. I think I'm gonna need to mix in a little more down elevator. Let's see, we'll do, do 20% for landing, and we'll do 30%, because it was 15 and 20. So we'll see if that doesn't improve things a little bit. Landing flaps. Okay. Do takeoff flaps. There we go. Landing flaps. That's not too bad. She really didn't balloon on me. Mm. 
not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think I like that mix better. So that was 20% down elevator for takeoff and 30% and down elevator for landing. But you gotta remember, it's it's big plane. Those flaps are huge. All right. Yeah, them flaps are huge. So they they create a lot of downward thrust. And uh, so you, you think, well, that's a lot of down elevator. Well, got a lot of thrust and great big flaps too. Yeah, just gently rising, just gently leveling. I mean, gently level a rise. So that's that's good. That's good. All right, get her on this side of the field a little bit. Let's see if we can't work out a much nicer landing here. Oh, yeah. Just set her down like a butterfly with sore feet. There you go. All right. Here, what we're going to do now, we're going to get down here and I'm going to show you the stole capability of this plane. And what stole means is short takeoff and landing. So here we're going to put our flaps all the way down. Okay. We're going to put full elevator. And we're going to goose it. <laughs> what was that? Eight feet? Six feet? Something like that. And she jumped up in the air. <laughs> All right. This is going to be a no flap landing. This time. I'm completely out of the power. She's dead stick. Dead stick. My motor died on me. What am I going to do? Do a bumpy landing, that's what I'm gonna do. But anyways, there you go. We're gonna get her turned around here. Now we're gonna try to do a non-stole, no flap, scale takeoff. There you go. And then we're gonna take her up and do a non-scale maneuver. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Well, she'll knife edge for you all day long. All day long. Landing flaps. A little bit of a little bit of motor. A little bit of throttle. Back pressure. Back pressure. Oh yeah! Just set her down so pretty. All right. All right, let's see, we got a little more time. Let's do another one of them wonderful landings like that. When you're taking off like that, your primary controls, the things you're, you're the, the, I can't talk, the controls that you're got your most interest in is your throttle and your rudder. Because you're just gonna do just a little bit of gentle back pressure for the elevator. People say, well, your elevator. No, it's your throttle and your rudder because you want to have control, a controlled takeoff. No flaps. There we go. All right. Typical tail dragger. A little squirrely on the, on the land. So if you slow down, they get that tail planted a little bit. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just just enjoying flying her around. All right, fly her towards me. This is how you do a cross breeze. You want to fly it towards you, coming right at you, and then turn it straight as you get closer. All 
All right. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> He's like, don't do that to me. All right, landing flaps, flyer towards me. Oh, there you go. Just kiss the ground with the, just kiss that grass with them wheels. That's what you want to do. All right, folks, making them Tundra tires to earn a living. There you go, folks. That is the Carbon Z Cub SS. You a happy bird? You're a happy bird. And here's what you want to hear before you turn them, before you touch the plane. Motor off. Motor off. That's right. All right, folks. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is Fat Guy Flies RC. That is the E Flight Carbon Cub SS.